welcome back to my channel. So we are headed out to Cruel Smith's Spring Orchid Show, Orchid Festival. I am with Laz. Yesterday, we, uh, we went to set up. We gave you guys a little preview of what to expect um, when you arrive at these shows. So we're just gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about what we saw, um, who was there. It was, it was pouring, so it was really hard for you guys to probably hear what I was talking about when I was in their showroom. Um, so we kind of want to do like a little recap because we are on our way. It's really, really early. It is um, 7.15. Um, so anyway, uh, Cruel Smith is hosting this show in Apopka, Florida. And today is Friday, April 14th. So um, today's the first day of the show, which is normally the day where um, lots of collectors go. So you can expect um, when you come in, when you first walk in, it is usually really, really busy uh, because everybody that collects is trying to get in. To get the best stuff. Yeah, it's trying to get in, trying to see what they find. Early and, bird, um, what is that? Early, early bird, gets, bird the gets the worm. Um, so Fridays is always like that. Fridays is a more like a collector's day, um, really, really early. So um, just what to expect when you first walk in. So you're gonna walk in to Cruel Smith. They have a beautiful property. They have um, over nine greenhouses packed with orchids. You're gonna walk into their showroom, which is where they're gonna have all of their blooming, um, you know, their blooming orchids, what they, what they bring out for the show. Uh, and if you find something that you love, um, they they have um, the employees that will actually go into the greenhouses and pick something for you from there if they're not out of the show. At least that's how it's been. Yeah. Yep. No, the thing is that they have a lot of stuff that's also not for sale when you go through the, some of the greenhouses. Mm -hmm. But usually everything that's tagged already has a price on it is for sale. Grab it because somebody else will. Yeah. If you find something, you want to grab it. But what I was telling you guys about the greenhouses, I'm not sure if they're going to... He normally opens, so Frank Smith, which is the owner, um, he normally opens the greenhouses um, for us to walk and kind of just walk through and see and, you know, and see the orchids that are usually non-blooming. Um, but what they, what, what I was trying to tell you is that if you find something in the showroom and you want multiples of it or um, what you, what's in there, what can I say? Like if you want multiples of it, yeah, just, and they don't have it there, they can always run into the greenhouse and, and grab, grab it, for it you. from the back. They usually pull out the things that are in bloom, but they sometimes have a lot of larger plants and stuff that might not be in bloom or they're budding, mm -hmm. and they'll go out back and get it for you. So either Julian, Jordan, any of the guys out there, you ask them, and they they usually go and get you something. Yeah, it's funny because I've been to this show. What this is probably like my fifth, fifth my, or my, my fifth or sixth time coming over. And on days like this, like super busy days, like Fridays and Saturdays, you see these guys running with orchids back and forth from the greenhouse back to the showroom. So um, yeah, they do have lots of stock. Uh, so don't get too scared that you're not gonna find, you know, what you like when you first arrive. You might not be able to find the largest or, um, or some, or what? Well, don't wait till the last day either. Yeah. If, you wanna, if you wanna get the good stuff and the bigger blooms and the more flowers, go the first day yeah but usually I mean they usually go out that whole wall when you first walk in on those mounted uh, Shilurianas and all that oh yeah that's that's gone. usually gone within the first couple of hours yeah yeah so if you if you're thinking of coming out today is actually a really good day to come out um, because they will have the best you know available. the best of the best <laughs> available so that is Cruel Smith now he also has invited other amazing vendors uh, to sell their um, their orchids. I am a vendor um, at this event, obviously not for orchids, but with my candles. But then you also find um, like somebody selling shirts, somebody selling jewelry. It's uh, you know almost Mother's Day, so it's always nice because you can always grab some gifts. And um, you got you got Natalia with just one more orchid with her with her pottery. You've got spring water, Bredrins, um, Florida Orchid House, which are all local. Um, from Florida and then you have vendors that come all the way from California. They are actually um, really uh, close friends with uh, with Frank Smith. So they they usually always come out. Um, you've got the Patio Petalum um, vendor. I don't know. I, I'm really bad with names you guys. But um, he comes from California. You have a guy that comes from Hawaii. You have Alan. Everybody knows Alan. He's from California. He has um, beautiful Cattleyas and just uh, different, different type of orchids. Um, who else? Uh, oh, we have um, somebody from Asheville. Yes. Yes. 
um, can't remember the name. Um, but you guys, I did showcase them in yesterday's video. Today, I am excited because Chris is gonna show me something um, that he's bringing back. He didn't wanna tell me yesterday, so if you saw yesterday's video, it's what he kept saying, it's a surprise, it's a surprise. So I can't wait to get in there and see what the surprise is. Um, excited to see that, and that's with Ophi. And, um, and what else? What's another little recap that we can tell them about yesterday? I'm just super excited about these shows, you guys. I mean, you that get, was only day one you well, get for to us. See, for us. You get to see so many. I mean, I'm just happy seeing all the vendors and all the different workers that they bring. I am going to be very selective, though, because as you know, um, back in my orchid section, those orchids are suffering. I can't bring anything in there that's going to not do well. So I'm going to focus more on getting orchids for my palms. But Mr. Laz here. I, I like the weirdos. <laughs> He's already found a few orchids that he's going home with and they're spectacular. I told Laz that when I get back, maybe in a few weeks, um, maybe I'll go up to his house, and do a, have a, a little, a little cocktail and we'll do a little haul of what he got because he always loves to get all the, all the different, all the bulbs. And now the rains the are starting. So a lot of things are orchids. starting to spike or bloom. So today's gonna be fun. I mean, I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a little recap of yesterday because I know it was really hard to hear when I was in there. Um, just, you know, these shows are fun. We did take a five hour, four hour road trip and we to didn't come out sleep. here. We, we tried to go to sleep and we kept, she was dreaming about <laughs> Crow Smith and, the, and I'm like, we were what should I there. buy? <laughs> I was like, I couldn't sleep all night. I was so excited. So anyways, you guys, I am going to add to this video um, some footage from today. So yeah, I hope to see you guys. I'm excited. Lots of you guys messaged me that you guys are going to be coming. It's still early, so get in your cars, drive, come out. We yeah. do a four-hour drive. Some of you guys are closer, so make it happen. Make it happen. This doesn't happen out. every day. <laughs> Maybe three or four times a year. Three times a year. Instead of six times. <laughs> All right, you guys, we will, we're here, and we hope to uh, see you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll see you soon. Bye. Look at the sign. We're pulling it. Oh, yeah. We're the first to pull Oh, we're the first ones. <laughs> I still have to set up my candles, that's why. Wait, see? We're literally the first ones. I don't even think the employees are here. No. Are you guys able to see? I'm, like, turning this around. I'll that's be the one cool. to open the front door. <laughs> Well, we all know that last thing he's an employee. Oh, look, there, there goes one. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. We will um, see you in a few minutes. Well, seconds for you guys, but we got to get in. The parking. Inside, I am all set up as best I could, but all set up. And we are here. Doors have not opened yet. Everybody's starting to trickle in. But inventory. Now that you guys can hear me, this is you guys award-winning Gino's gem. Gino's gem emerald fire. This is fire. Fire. It is huge. Look at the size of this cymbidium. They do have divisions and they're pretty big. The divisions when are these. Uh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. For that one's massive. This one's pretty big. That one's one twenty. I mean, they're already flowering. They're pretty much ready to oh go oh my gosh and i did get back how long would i have mine pre-pandemic a while 2019 i got myself a gino's gem they were a lot and it cheaper, has but now they have all the awards it has bloomed it's warm growing and it is spectacular look at this so they've had this one for 15 years so you can and expect it started off as a little mm -hmm. division so you can expect um if you get one of these and you can have it for 15 years you can expect expect to have a plant this size i mean you gotta really take care of it <laughs> really dedicate yourself to taking care of it so nice to be able to walk and not bump into people have to no not only that but oh my gosh look at that one over there i want to say that's the i blossom i don't know i'm inventing anyway so nice to be able to walk and not have that talk over the rain. Wow, <clears throat> a bunch of beautiful little tablets. Yeah. Already blooming size. Gorgeous. Look at this one. Yeah. I love the way that one grows. It grows flat. Like, yeah. 
It's a brown lip. It is gorgeous, like a violacea, but it's white. What's the name of it? <clears throat> a Tokyo Magic with a circle of love. Oh, and you know what? I don't want to pull the tag out. But if you guys see anything in my videos, you can always screenshot and, um, and email Cool, cool Smith. If you'd like to purchase anything and you're not able to come out to the shows, I love, love their aeroids. And these are not for sale. I'm sure lots of people want to come out and buy these. Look how beautiful. Oh, look at their aeroids section. I could go crazy here. Laz, look at this. Look at these velvety oh, leaves. Look at it. They're like velvety leaves. Look at this. From far away, it looks massive. like velvet. From the last time we were here, look how much they've grown. Oh, my gosh. I love this. These are tight constellations. <laughs> look at the size of these leaves. Look, so you have an idea. It's my arm. That's your arm. Look at these ferns. Look at pink princess. Pink princess. Oh. Yeah, they've grown a lot since the last time we were here. They missed us. Wow. Just gorgeous. These are display only. They're actually not for sale. Medellinas. These are gorgeous. They look fake. Wow. <clears throat> Even these vines. Look at the cut, the veining on that. It's just a vine. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So you guys get to see a little bit more than yesterday. Because um, it's still still not busy and super loud. So I'm going to try to see what I... This is pretty. What's the tag for this one? Phalaenopsis to Trapsis with Violacea Alba. Very nice. Very nice. So I'm gonna go out there for just a second. Let's go see what um what Chris wanted to surprise us with. Mm -hmm. Walk outside. Mm -hmm. And normally in a few minutes once they open the doors, it's gonna be so hard to walk through here. Just wanna walk and show you guys. Good morning. Look at the picture. Good morning. So look at their pitcher plants. These are actually cute and small ones. These are small. We've come here where these are massive. Massive. I got some. Yeah, these are kind of like the orchids that can't grow. <clears throat> and this is Hoyas and Aeroids over here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So now I get to showcase what the vendors from California, what the growers from California brought. Good morning. Good morning, long time no see. I know. Buenos, <laughs> Buenos dias. Como esta? Como esta? And this is Alan, grower from California. Yeah. And look at all his stuff. He's got amazing, amazing orchids over here. Yeah, but we had a good dinner last night. We did have a good dinner last night. <laughs> My belly is still full. <laughs> I had a banana for breakfast because that's all I that's could eat. That's all you could eat. <laughs> <laughs> so look at this, you guys. Mini. Oh, I got your oh, bones the last goodness. time, I think. Yeah. This, and something else I got. It's my favorite little Cuban species. Oh, it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, this was actually a division of a plant that was collected above Havana in an oak forest in 1952 from a friend oh, wow. of mine from the Bay Area. And they spread fast. So you guys oh, want yeah. any, like, once it takes off, it takes off. Orchid history and like, you know, all these amazing, you know, species and oh, you can come over and see Alan. He is like the orchid. Look at that. He's like the Orchid Dictionary. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it for, what, four, de five, six decades. Six decades. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so which is that Cuban species that we were talking well, about? The Poly Bulbon. Golden Gate. Oh, the Poly Bulbon. It's like a small little flower. It has a soft fragrance. 
Nice. And the pour pack does well for Look me too, this. but I feel like I have two. One has more red leaves and one has greener leaves. I have mm -hmm. one of these. Amazing, you guys. But they're in the same <clears throat> Wow. Okay. That's why I'm like. two different plants. Yeah. This is really, really cool. Really, really cool. So we get spoiled because he comes, they come all the way from California, bring their orchids to us, and then we can, you know, have a variety in our collection of all these amazing, amazing orchids. Yeah, which they definitely have weird things. Thank you. You're, if, you're into, weird. <laughs> if you're into weird collection, they've got it. They've got it. That's awesome. Well, look at that little Tineopsis over here. <laughs> ah, look at these variegated. Nice. These are little, tiny. So these actually get really big. Is this just like seedling size, or is this? No, that's blooming size. They're in bud. Wow! Look at that blooming oh, size and in bud. Nice. Oh, how cute! So for those of you guys that love collecting the smaller orchids, like the minis, these are gorgeous. Look at this variegation. Wow! I love that. And that's the flower. All right, well, we'll let you guys. Look at these two orchids, the colors oh, on beautiful. them. Beautiful. Look at this one. This is a different pattern. A different it almost pattern. looks like little electricity. Like, this is shock. Yeah, look. <laughs> Zoom into the, the leaf. It almost looks electricity. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's, let's keep walking. So now that the vendors are all set up, it's nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Hey, Christopher. Oh, no, it's Christian. So Chris is short for Christian. Where's my surprise? Inside. Frank took it. Oh. He went ahead and he beat everybody up. And he bought it? Uh, yes. It's inside. It's inside. So let's go inside. And, um, let's so go inside. All right. Well, let's go inside. And, then and we'll go we're going to go inside and show you good morning. Good morning. Hey, Maddie. I'll set up over here. You guys had brethren yesterday. Oh, I you said steaks. Like steaks. Boy, are you thinking about food? Always. <laughs> so early in the so morning. So early in the morning. Steak for breakfast, steak and eggs. Yeah. This is a vendor from Asheville I was telling you guys. So it's Blue Ridge so, Orchids. I thought that was an interesting philosophy from John. Blue Ridge Orchids. Yeah. And George well, good Curry. morning, my dear. Hi. So this is Blue Ridge Orchids from Asheville. And Natalia is set up here, setting up. Wow, where is he going? <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Well, I, I, yeah. Don't we all? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good to see you too. Really excited to see everybody. Telling everybody that you're here from Asheville, North Carolina with Blue Ridge Orchids. First night for food. And this is Orchid Arrows. See, everybody is set up. I'm going to be eating good in Japan. Orchid Arrows. Another day. Everything that Orchid Arrows has. How are doing, young man? Good. Yeah? <laughs> and then Sierra Madre is all set up. Wow. So yesterday it was just tables. So now we get to see what Sierra Madre brought. And they're from my neck of the woods. <laughs> Look at all the goodies. Close to the woods. <laughs> He's got arrowways. He's got amazing orchids. Local Florida grower. Oh, yeah. And this is Sierra Madre. Here's a card. <laughs> and then we've got Florida Orchid House. Look at this Imidium. Oh. Beautiful. Look, remember the yellow? Oh, remember the yellow Cattleya? This, oh my God, this is like life right here. We're both looking at the yellow. 
beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Look at the chili, Anna. Remember? Yes. That I, I was like, please hold please it. Please hold it. Back at the Redland Show. Yep. That's a Yamada Yellow Maxillaria. To me, that one smells like pineapple. Like pineapple. Oh, wow, you guys. This one is spectacular. They always... Last show, I saw that one. And they've got on stadiums and... <sighs> but nobody's I was telling you guys about yesterday. Look how beautiful. Lots of nobilies. And then zygos. Love Florida Orchid House, you guys. They are an amazing, amazing, knowledgeable couple. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and then we've got Miranda Orchids over here. And SVO from California also. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And the orchids, all of these are from Brazil, you guys. Look at how beautiful. Beautiful. The tag for that one's in there. So if you like it, screenshot it. I don't want to be touching tags and messing everything up. And give them a call. So how are you? <laughs> Ready for the day. Beautiful. And then we've got Tang, Tang rolling in. Tang fighting. <laughs> Julian on the golf cart. Good morning. Good He's coming. He's on his How way. are you? Mm. I came, you came just in time because I was just walking over to your booth. Early, early bird gets the worm. Yeah. So we got spring water. Uh, so you sound like, like an entertain couple birds. <laughs> Spring water with all of his beauties. Look at all these Anas moms. Gorgeous. Okay. So, need no introduction. Mr. Tan himself. All right. What, what I'd like to show you special today is something I bring. Oh, to man. Boy. Look at that. Okay. And uh, <gasps> you can only look, but you can't Holy touch. moly. It's just a very flower. It's a species it from Thailand. Ghost orchid. And believe it or not, I, I mounted this thing to this for about a year and a half. Massive. But it didn't didn't quite well root well, but I think it's some roots here, so hopefully they will they will, they will This uh, is a big boy. Yeah. Spectacular. So this is not for sale. No, definitely. No. But I have one similar for sale, which is a smaller one. The smaller version of this. this Actually is... the smaller doesn't mean it's small, it's still a big plant, but it, it, it... So this is a Chilichista yeah. Parishii. No, uh, yeah. not Parisi. That's a very flower, but it's the same. I think. I think it's the, the same cinnamon. Oh man! So that's the showstopper of the weekend, yeah. right? Look at that! Beautiful. Hey, Tom. Here's yes, your sir. broom, buddy. If you want to clean that stuff, yeah. I got. Wow! Beautiful, you guys. He always brings something special to every show that he's been, that he's that he grows and and yeah. This Let's see. And then look at all the Dendrobium nobilis here too. Oh, look at this color. I like it. I like this color. I like it. I know. I saw that. Like I this. love that. That mount is beautiful. It's beautiful. That mount is beautiful. And it's natural state. Yeah. So let me established. If, if you want to buy an established plant, that's the plant. It's that's already plant. rooted. It's yeah. already attached everywhere. Yeah, yeah they well, real you know, well. these don't like Pretty me very awesome. much. They like you, Laz. That's a backwards tag. They like you more than they like me. Well, they they need they need you have to constant keep <laughs> humidity. You can't let them humidity. dry out completely. Yeah. So. All right, you guys. So I've given you more more uh, footage today of all the vendors. It's gonna be a great show. We still haven't opened, so get on out over here day one of the cool smith orchid spring orchid festival i mean just their nursery is breathtaking so you guys can come out and and just visit it is spectacular today you get a treat this weekend you get a treat because you got all these all these vendors you got florida 
Florida um, local vendors. You've got, like I said, vendors from California, vendors from um, North Carolina. You've got uh, Miranda Orchids, which is um, everything from their collection from that they grow is like from Brazil. So yeah, we get spoiled over here. Beautiful orchid show morning. And, and that's it. This is, you know, coverage from Friday, day one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it will be a really busy show. Oh, before I go, Chris, take a walk with me. Chris is gonna show us what and the surprise is. Laz, you wanna come? We're gonna go see the surprise, even though you already know. Because but I haven't yours. said anything. I, look at me throwing you under the bus. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I need the large garden. Yes. I need. I need, of course. I got you. I got you. I'll be back. So as I walk, they give me orders. I need. <laughs> All right. We're walking over. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't want to make anybody dizzy by running down. So we're going to go see. We've got shoppers. <laughs> There's my little booth over there. We're hunting it down. Oh, we're looking for it. It's not live. Did it move? We're looking for the surprise. He's trying to see where Frank put the surprise. Oh, it's all the way to the back in the room. So you guys are going to go on a on a tour. You guys are going on a tour. It's in the back. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going on a field trip. <laughs> all right. Let's see, Laz is selling or something. Laz, follow us. <laughs> Getting ready. Oh, now you get to see the property better. Chris, are you going the right way? I guess we lost Laz. You know, something Laz does a lot, which is amazing, is that he like takes over. <laughs> he starts like, you know, assisting assisting customers so if you ever have the pleasure of you know having laz as your as your orchid helper he's very knowledgeable oh he's gonna bring it over all right so we'll be hanging out here showing you more of tan stuff look at that oh he's got cherry babies cherry babies and sidiums it is humid very humid. So what are the orchid shows um, are you doing after this one? Well, next week I'll be in uh, Vero Beach. Vero Beach, okay. You know, uh, and that's the end of my six in a row. Oh, six in a row. Yeah, and yeah, then it's couple, Redlands. I got a couple, couple breaks. The big old three fin log. So this is a surprise. So what is this here? That's tree fern. It's tree fern. The actual tree fern. And you guys put it here like in a cement? Yeah, it comes like that in a, as a totem. And you can, you can attach anything that you like. Oh, wow. wow. From cats and drawings, fails, you name it. So it's like having like 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 a tree. <laughs> like, kind of like that. <laughs> like mounting on a tree. Is that, uh, so this is super cool. So are you guys like mass for... produce? Are you guys like making a lot of these and having them uh, over there at Ophi for sale? Trying. We're trying to bring it over. You're trying to bring it over. Yes. Okay. So this no, is super I mean, cool. Drip by drips. No, they, this uh, years ago, you know, they're available <laughs> a lot, but now they're not. No, they're not. So what material? This is tree fern. Tree fern. Tree fern, basically a root of some kind of palm. Yes. And, wow. Uh, they are very uh, sturdy and uh, long lasting. Oh yeah, you can. You can this do is anything so in there. cool. So what? Um, you can attach all kind of orchids, ferns, pilanches, you name it. Whatever you whatever you oh. think of, your imagination is the limit. Okay, and how many do you have any available right now at Ofi? Any available at the store? Uh, Frank bought it. <laughs> oh, he bought the only one that you had? 
So will you let me know when this is available so I can let? I will. Because I'm sure now it's on. I now know. it's on my page and now it's being blasted. So you know, know. you're gonna get phone calls of uh, of uh you know orchid growers wanting to purchase this like if they don't have any trees in their houses that they want to use and you can even keep this in a shady area oh, you can do anything with it you can put it all over the place you outside, can even put inside, it indoors indoors you name it you, you can put plants you can put plants you can put orchids you can put anything, that you can anything. so is that the only shape or could it be like no that's the only shape well well it depends what you either, find yeah. yeah but it comes so, something like that so it's a log like that uh, okay and then you guys just do the, the, the obviously the, the piece at the bottom with the, mm -hmm. with the cement. But this is really how you find it. Exactly. Because you can't really make that because it's all natural, long-lasting. Long cool. Lasting, so what does something like this cost? I mean, 180. I, about 180? Okay. About 180. All right. Awesome, Chris. Well, thank you. This was a surprise. Hey. This is so cool. It was a surprise that, uh, yeah, for uh, Frank Lovitz. But, uh, you know, some, yeah, he, Frank uh, already bought he it. couldn't so. live without it. <laughs> <laughs> but I will definitely let you guys know when they have it. So, Please. so that's it. This was uh, a nice surprise. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, you can grow anything. You can have a couple of them in the house. Yeah, he looks like he's in love. Anything. Anything you can, you can think of. <laughs> Look how he looks at it. <laughs> Yeah, I want it. I want it. I you want, want it for yourself? <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. It is very nice. Well, thank you. Thank you for, um, you know, for showing me and and letting me show my viewers. Yes. Get, it's all different angles. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you can attach anything all over the place. I mean, the back and the front and top. The you back and the front, you name it, and it'll, it'll attach well. All right. Bring it. <laughs> yeah i don't know about that <laughs> all right you guys so um yeah day one friday april 14th uh cruel smith spring orchid festival um i will see if i chime in if not i will see you guys in my garden because we are getting ready to start working so thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye bye Okay, so I went over the hill, um, the vendors that were over here, and I hadn't seen these vendors over here. So we've got accent orchids here, you guys. Look at, oh my God. Look at all of these beautiful orchids that they have brought over. Look at these, I love this. This is a Vendorium smiley. Beautiful. And I do have Dendrobium smileys in my collection, but they don't do well for me. Story of my life. But I'll still show you the pretty flowers. Beautiful. This is Accent Orchids. Let me look for their sign so I can show you guys. Oh, yeah. Look at all the work that they brought over. And they are in, they're in St. Petersburg, Florida. Excellent work. If they know what they're getting, it's probably the first one. So beautiful. Babies. Beautiful. Oh, I just love it so much. And we've got J and A orchids and exotics. So we got exotics over here. Beautiful you see anything? There, I mean, I see everything, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> like this one has different hairs. These are like white mm. little hairs. Look at these that are black. Surium's, it's almost like a black. It's very dark. Yes, I was going to say, like, but look at the back of the screen. Yeah, they're very really dark. All right, so this is um, the vendors over the little hill. So when you come over, don't miss this section because they have really, really beautiful orchids over here and plants. Amazing. And then 
look at that they have sunflowers growing and i think julian's gonna take me inside a greenhouse to show me some some plants that they're growing in here so let's uh get julian and walk back into this greenhouse Alrighty, so now we're gonna go see what's in the greenhouse that julian in wants the not to for show. sale room in the <laughs> <laughs> that's just what he keeps grabbing for not yeah, for right. sale <laughs> You're so bad. look but don't touch <laughs> <laughs> oh. now this is his favorite right here i know oh. so this is whose favorite me Replicata. Oh my goodness gracious! Basically a replicata. <gasps> Holy it's moly! And the, remember that one time, oh and it's, it God, doesn't. It, it it's so the same good. time. It doesn't fail. Last, stand by it so we can actually see how big it is. Well, not that you're this huge man, I'm, but I'm seven <laughs> foot two. Look at this! Look at the size of this! What? But smell it. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, so, do you guys have um, cuttings of this? Not yet. We've got them in the lab, though, so they should be coming up soon. Oh, so and this is an Encyclia Replicata Cristel. So anything you guys see with the name Cristel is going to be, like, amazing. Because Cruel Smith's mom, he names, right? So what's the deal yeah. with that? So basically, so he says it better. Frank mm -hmm. goes ahead. Anything that he finds to be really fantastic and really, you know, top of the top, he always names after his mom because uh -huh. a little bit of mama. Boy, yeah, but. I love that. I love that, you guys. What the heck is this? Now, Can so you this imagine? Is one of the things. So a lot of times people will see these when they're still small plants, and they're gonna see, you know, one, two flower spikes. And they're like, oh, you know, I'm not really. But then this is what happens when they grow up. It's right. one of those plants where they're show plants. These are plants that are made to be put on on display and made to be these big exhibits. This is what you want. And so even if it's a small plant at first, it doesn't put on a big show. You so how long has he had this for? This plant he's probably had for about 15 years. Wow. So it's definitely has he's has he divided it before? Nope. Nope. It's just been picked up. Actually, if you really if you were to look, oh, and then you mount, you put it into another. There's another pot back in, in here, there. and he just places it, it up. down and let it grow so it has more room. Exactly. See, this is fascinating. Like, and I wish I can just. It's <sighs> light, but it's different. Yeah. But you guys, we have to be patient, it's and you like know, a, in 15 years, our orchids will be this like big, a, <laughs> like a honeysuckle kind of. With, I mean, look at that. It's like amazing. a lot of. Huh. I'm like. Are you trying to see what it smells like? It smells great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is one of the beauties that Julian brought me in here to show you guys. Ah, oh, look at these. Are these for sale? They're not no, or nothing in here is no for sale. No, for sale. Oh, look at back there. Look at all the color. Back yep. There. So these guys are. Who's calling you? No. So these guys, we used to have a whole bunch of these. This is the same thing though. We had them in six inch pots and they weren't as popular because they wouldn't, they put up one or two flowers. You put them into the eight inch pot, now look at them. Now look at the flowers. Look at the flowers. There's, there's a lot of these catlias and encyclias and, and similar species that really go ahead and are show plants. And personally, I like things that flower once a year. I know everyone's gonna, you know, look at me like I'm crazy. Well, but hello, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna get, if you're gonna get, if you're this, gonna get this show well once a year. You want, so I like things that flower once a year because usually things that flower once a year flower all at once once a year. Yeah, but you normally don't get that, like that color, that red coloration Goodness. like that. You know, these What's the name nice. of this one? These are uh, Catlia, or it's a Lelia hybrid, but I can't remember the actual name of it right, right now. Uh, Lelia catanthi or something like that, but it's Newberry Lava Burst. Mm. New, Newberry. Newberry. Newberry Lava, Lava Burst. Burst. Wow. Of course. Yeah. These, I think you do have some up front. Yep, we got for a few sale, of them up yeah. there. So these are for sale. So this is like kind of like a. They look like canes. They to me, like it looks like canes. a gramatophyllum. It has a gramatophyllum in them? Nope. Is that this that African? Is, yeah. African. This is Ancelia africana. It's a species from Africa, South Africa. And these guys will grow. Are these the ones that the Afri the uh, the South African vendors, yep. they, the so growers, they, that they, they grow those? So I bought yep. a few of these, which. Hmm. These guys, you can put up into the tree with full sun, basically. You know, acclimate them, of course, but they will take full sun, no problem. Ooh. And what about now drought? you're speaking my language. Drought. They'll, dry, <laughs> they'll dry out perfectly. Drought in the winter, not a problem. In the summer while it's growing, you want to give it lots of water, but when it's in the winter, it can dry out, no problem. 
actually they almost are like a catacetum type where they'll go ahead and actually to go dormant like yeah almost like, wow does it is it fragrant it is fragrant yeah it's it's what? different as well now it's like that was telling me a story uh when he went to go into south africa and he saw these in south africa he said it was about 29 degrees and he looked up into the trees and up in the trees were these giant you know car-sized ancelia africanas these guys, these guys, no problem, 29 degrees. So they can take Wow, some so they can no take really warm so temperatures like and really low temperatures. are going to get massive. Yeah, they will get real big. They won't get as big as something like Speciosum and that kind of thing, but they will get real big eventually. I mean, you can already see this plus size plant here. It's a beautiful size plant. And they get taller in height. They don't get much taller than this they, height. So they stay that size? Yeah, this is about the size they get to. Oh, They're beautiful. But the best part is that they grow very fast. There you go. And they're fragrant. Yep. Nice. Oh, we got a question? Oh. I'm sorry. Give me one quick second. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can do one quick thing here. Mm -hmm. I will He's show you real quick. For now. We're so not letting him. Here, oh, in general, we all know they are. Dendrobium lindleyi. Lindley or these are the Dendrobium ecogodum. They are spectacular. These are actually our breeder plants here. Um, a lot of these have been pulled because they have fantastic form, huge flowers, and a bright yellow coloration. Oh, you, you just can't be, and you love the fragrance too. Have you smelled these before? I have, but I didn't. Sorry. They so these are your breeding plants. So none of, obviously, none of these are first. No, these are. So we do have other ones. That Wait, we these are first. It's, like, it's a different scent. It's light, but it's. it's I want to smell. Different. I I can't even describe it. To me, it's very honey fragrance. Like, yeah, it smells like honey. Oh, you smell it? Oh, honey. Honey. <laughs> honey, 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 honey. I have you in my collection, honey, but you're not this big. <laughs> you have to just buy one this big. Just invest and just get them huge. Right? 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 Breathtaking, right? Amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to see if I can convince Frank to bring some of these to judging and hopefully get some more on them. Right. Beautiful. So this is, you guys, what you will find. Big basket. What you will yeah, find back, in the greenhouses. You can walk through here, see all of these beauties. Oh, you guys, there's something else back there I want to show you. That's the Vanda room. This is going to be a really long video today. Vanda Vanda. <laughs> We're going to get um, Julian back over here to keep giving us the, the tour. But he gets, oh, what's that there? That's right, because he's still mine. He's still mine. It's a beautiful day today. Oh, mine. All right. It We're is. walking Look over to James. Last it's night beautiful. was old. Right? Yesterday we got the rain, and today it's bright. Today and it's bright and, and it's literally the sun. first time it's rained in like three months here was last night. Now it's all yeah. beautiful. So, for the first one, I'm going to go to different. My favorite. Oh, this is amazing. I mean, these you guys colors. Have a lot of these for sale as well out there. Yeah. Oh, you guys, they have the, the smaller ones that. over there, but this is. You Vanda take Gray. care of your orchids and you can end up with something like this. In a few years. Yes. Yeah. I just well, need to. Well, and that's the nice thing about Vanda Gorea is that it does make kikis very easily. Mm -hmm. so they grow. I mean, look over here. Here's another plant right here. Yeah. That's like what? Like, look at all the kikis. That? Yep. I have yeah, a few. But oh. this is just as, you know, same species, but this is a much nicer flower over here. Okay. Oh, right, because the flowers are different. So look at, yeah. Ooh. Smaller flowers. Yes, I see. Let me see if I can show you guys. And then this one here, the flower is a little larger. I mean, the color is spectacular. Yeah. Would these grow on trees? Oh, yeah. I wonder. Yeah? Yeah, because it look, it's mounted on, on wood. It's just oh, like a... man. Oh, and I smell something so good. <laughs> But Vanda Gorea. So, so this one's called Vanda Gorea. It's called Vanda Gorea. Um, Gorea. There's been most of them have been called Vanda Mindiatum in uh, cultivation. Mm -hmm. um, realistically, true Vanda Mindiatum is very rare in cultivation. Uh, majority of them sold in the entire world are actually Vanda Gorea, and those that species is widespread all throughout Thailand and uh, there in Southeast Asia and different countries there. Whereas Mindiatum is in a lot more localized species. But nice. Vanda Gorea, basically a really good way to really tell them apart. If your plant flowers in the springtime, like ours are flying right now, it's mm -hmm. going to be Vanda Gorea. Nice. 
beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. This is my favorite dendrobium. One of your favorites. Ah, oh, I love it. Dendrobium so lazianthera. Dendrobium lazianthera. I am waiting until you guys have this one big to buy it. Right. Are these just um, open? Is that why the leaves are like, yeah, why the flowers are here. just you can not show as one perky? That's open right over here. Oh, okay. It's, got a oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Just the coloring of it is just amazing. And now these change colors. And depending, depending, on, the on, the depending on the elevation, they change you colors. Got more so purpling. Or? They, the, so basically, where, but depending on where they come from, they change color. If you change them in elevation, they're not going to change colors from orange to purple. But if they come from a higher elevation on the. Uh, Sepik River Valley. They'll then stay growing they'll that have, way. Yeah, they always have the same coloration depending on where they're from, but they'll have different colorations. On the very top of the Sepik River Valley, you'll get them in the purples and the magentas and all that. As you go down to the middle, you get more into like the pinks and the lighter colors. Mm -hmm. And finally, as you get to the river deltas, when you get the oranges and yellows. Yeah, it's, like, it's got that spectacular. Hot pink with the I love it. Yeah. I love it. Love, love, love. I mean, let me try to get some focus. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. A little baby. A little baby. So beautiful. I'm always blown away. Always blown away. And then we're entering the amazing Vanda room. Of course. Which is called Stuart. The Stuart House. The Stuart House. And this room, I mean the grand prize room. I mean, can we talk about this room? <laughs> we're two cute things in here, right? Right? Look at how cute this one is. That's not a tricolor, right? Yep. It's a tricolor. It's a tricolor. Bend the tricolor. Beautiful. Bend the tricolor. And the cool name is Michael Collins, FCCAOS. That's an older one for sure, but it's a beautiful one. You guys, you know that this is why I love to come over here because every time I come here, I get blown away. Just yeah. different different beautiful orchids in bloom everything just so healthy everything's so amazing which is why cool smith i mean they're the best what can i tell you i have this one this is a llama lada with menthian chai yep but these are like the best the best here and i'm here touching you can't it get better than i have this, this one in my collection mm. yeah there's a tag you know that they stopped making this one yeah this one's out of and i have one of these in my collection from from a different vendor from Planti Lorquida, which is also amazing. This is uh, oh, beautiful. And look at this one. It looks like this flashy. is a species, Vanda Lombokensis. And it's a species coming from the uh, Lombok Islands, I believe in the Philippines or in Malaysia, one or two. And it's a relatively new species to cultivation, but they are a fantastic species. Really nice and fragrant. It's really hard to find them still. But Ooh. we're working on changing so that. that. Um, sorry, that level cancer is the one that's like scrappy leaf. So what does this one smell like? It was almost like a... So to me, almost, to me personally, it smells like honey nut Cheerios. But I'll let you smell it. Oh! Let, me know. <laughs> let me see. Honey nut Cheerios. Oh no, it smells better. <laughs> oh, it's sweet. Wow. Mmm, wow. Amazing. So you guys are thinking that you guys are going to have these available soon? In the future. We've got them in, in the, the lab. I'm in the sure lab. There's, a, there's a few other vendors. So that's... from lab to... Blooming size? Blooming size. You're looking at what, 10 years? No, what was it? Um, ten, uh, Two to three years? From something like Lombok, Kansas, you'd probably be looking at like about six years. Six, six years. From lab. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll be selling them probably as seedlings. And so... Okay, okay. So maybe all three years? Oh, with that. that is one of the Indian forms of Vanda tessellata. This is what's in the background of almost all of the fragrant. Right, uh, right, right. But the tessellata is more purple. This one's more like a light. Yeah. Like and a, so there's a lot of really big variation in the color ranges for Vanda tessellata. You get pink ones, you get these green ones, and you also yeah. get the dark, almost black, almost brown black. ones. Yeah. Like a little pig nose. Yeah. Wow. Well, this was amazing, as usual. And Thank then, you for oh tell me yes. yeah more we got more, more. we got more baby. So, this uh, is Vanda curifolia. It's in the background of a lot of the small red vanas, ascendant types that you see. Okay. This is a beautiful species. 
That's okay. what I was gonna say. Is it a species? Yes, it's yep. a species. This is a species. Okay. And over here, we've got the form or the alba form the alba. of Banneter folium. This is a pure the yellow. The alba form, and it's yellow. I would yeah. think it was white. Well, oh. that's why we call it a flava. We'll call it a flava. Oh, flava. Yeah. Okay. Flava. Whatever name they want to call it, right? <laughs> is that what it is? But yeah. same species, just different color form. Oh, amazing. I tend to go to the species of, oh, this is right. a color. Right. So we saw Banneter tricolor, right, over here? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. This is the albescence form of Van der Tricolor. Oh, wow. And that is just gorgeous. And it's hard to see it from below. Yeah, the sun. Yeah, but I can still get it. It's like a yellow, a like stripe. Yep. Yellow where the red, normally it would be red spotting there. This is yellow spotting, and then you get a little bit of pink on the lip. Nice. Oh, nice, nice, We were nice. talking about Van der Kura folio over here. She, he's so funny. Look at the pink one. So this, what do we call this one now? This has actually been described as Van der Kura folio form of... Frank Smithiana, and they actually named it after Frank Smith, of the owner of Pearl Smith. And so this is a fantastic species, and a, you know, basically a brand new color form of this species. They're beautiful. It's like a hot pink, right? It's like the shirt I'm wearing today. <laughs> it matches. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, this was great. So yeah. I think we covered everything that is like wow. Well, everything in the greenhouses are amazing, but these. just got a a, 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 tour. a little taste. A little taste a little tour of the best of the best over here so thank you julian of course you guys know that you can always call julian here in cruel smith and he'll answer all of your questions i will try my best he will try his best he's amazing so that's it i think this does conclude our video for day one friday look at the lot the parking lot is <laughs> full bad. everybody's already um you making their way lose. making their way over here for gotta... real and um and yeah this was this was nice this yeah, was I'm really nice lunch from the food truck now. right yeah you deserve to go get a good lunch now after that amazing tour <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys i'm gonna turn this around just um kind of like selfie mode because i don't even can't even turn this um around when i'm filming but this is the end of day one it's still going on. It's still early, you guys. It's like 10.30. I've um, just been filming and trying to bring you guys a little bit of the show with you. So have my buddy here with me. We will see you guys soon. Hopefully you can make it before Sunday. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. We'll get you guys. That's how you get them. They, they get all excited. They're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Wait a second. It's a candle. That is so good. All right, you guys. All set up here.